we got a great break today. We got T.E. McHale with uh, Honda Cars, Honda Indy Cars, uh, who actually grew up here in Lexington and Mid Ohio. Um, T.E., how much has this place changed and how much is it the same from uh, a couple of years ago? When well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I actually worked for the local newspaper. You and I yeah. probably met maybe 30 I, I, years I, I, ago, I, 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 maybe more I, 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 than that. Covered all the, the spectator events at Mid Ohio from 1978 through 96, mm -hmm. and fundamentally, it's very much the same. Yeah. Um, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, uh, this has always been a place that will draw a crowd, no matter what's going on. Right. You probably know that yeah. as well as any motorcycles, vintage yeah. cars. Yeah. 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 They just create a really nice family atmosphere here, and people can come and bring their picnics and sit on the hillside and watch racing. And it doesn't really matter whether it's vintage cars and motorcycles or indie cars or sports cars or, or uh, uh, NASCAR trucks. NASCAR trucks. <laughs> exactly right. Um, how much are you um, involved with this weekend? just with your duties with Honda. I mean, how much are you running around? There are a lot of moving parts. Obviously, we have the entitlement for the race, so there's we bring 11,000 associates from our mm -hmm. manufacturing plant, which is in Marysville, which is Excellent. an hour away from here. So, right. so making all those arrangements to get the tickets in the right place and get them on the premises and make sure there's food and water for them. And, yeah. Plus my usual duties uh, that, that we do at every IndyCar race with media hospitality, signage and, and driver appearances and most all that stuff. Sir.